Once upon a time, there lived a girl in Fort St. John who loved playing with Lego, her Barbies, and spending time with family. But after a lump was discovered last November, that brave five-year-old has been fighting stage four cancer at the Children's Hospital in Vancouver. In April, Natalie Small underwent a major surgery that removed 80% of a large tumor found in her stomach, but family members say her battle is far from over. In June, she underwent a bone marrow transplant and is currently going through another bone marrow transplant at the Children's Hospital. She's went through everything and uh, she's just came out on top every time. She had a little bit of complications with her first bone marrow transplant, uh, which delayed her recovery a little bit, but then she pulled right through that, no problem, came home, um, and now she's down there for her second bone marrow transplant and it seems to be going good so far. To celebrate her successful treatments, the Happily Ever After Foundation and Tenacious Detail have decided to throw her family an enchanted themed Happily Ever After ball to make Natalie truly feel like a princess. She's very excited. She loves her dress. It's uh, it's rainbow colored crinoline and mm -hmm. she has a little cute headband um, that has a unicorn horn on it. She's going to be ridiculously cute yes so she's she's pretty excited the the whole family's excited um they just it's going to be so nice for them to have a night where they don't have to worry about everything and they can kind of just step out of their reality the foundation is planning a magical evening they're going to decorate the pomeroy hotel like an enchanted forest and there are even plans to include a castle the evening will include a dinner and dance live music gypsy card reading and a midnight lunch and organizers are still looking for help silent auction items we're yeah. still accepting some silent auction items um, we have quite a few, but we definitely are looking for the more the better and any little bit helps too. Um, we have a donation set up. We have a, in our foundation within the Happily Ever After Foundation, we have an account. So if anybody wants to donate to Natalie and her family, they can do so even if they can't for whatever reason attend the event. So things like that, they're super helpful. We're going to be looking for some volunteers to help with setup and takedown of the event. The happily ever after formal ball for Natalie Small is planned for the evening of October 6th. For more information, check out the Happily Ever After Foundation's Facebook page. Brendan Miller, CJDC TV News, Fort St. John.